Well, so yesterday was fun. I enjoyed myself. Uh, what did I learn from yesterday's experience? I need to get out a lot more often. Number one. Um, Radiant shot, like a champ, like it always does. I, I love this gun. I really do. I'd like to grab an ODG lower for it at some point. So we got, but I think it's fine the way it is. I don't see the point spending the money just because of the color. Um, shot great. Candid. Did well. Still no baffle strikes. Knock on wood. I don't know what these guys are doing. They're getting all these baffle strikes on these dead airs. Um, I mean, at first I thought it was dudes that just weren't using alignment rods. Where's my marker? There you go. They really should put a little dot of... Where's my white pen? It should do that. <laughs> Make it easier to find. Uh, so I don't know what they're doing. It's causing it. I don't think it's all dudes that are screwing up. I think there's some issues going on. But um, Anyway, the shotgun was a blast. Literally. I'm still a little sore from those three inch shells right here. Nothing major, but you can feel it. It's half bruised. You know? Uh, you have to look up how to clean these things and properly lubricate them. Uh, I will say that the biggest surprise was how hot this fucker gets. And I know they make a Zukov handguard with a top piece to mitigate heat. But I'm like, you know. What's the point of spending the money on an ODG with the ODG barrel and then getting rid of most of the ODG where all you see is the receiver? I mean, otherwise, I'd just get about a black one. You know what I mean? So I kind of don't want to swap out handguards and stocks. I guess if I wanted to... I mean, I, I like the functionality and the look of those friggin' Zukov for sure. Uh, I mean, I guess I could just buy a set and send it off to Matt Chinelli and have him match the ODG. To keep things green, you know. <laughs> I know it sounds kind of silly, but I like what I like. Uh, as far as comfortability, this uh, butt pad on the back of this doesn't do much of anything, really. Especially with those three inches. I felt that. Definitely wouldn't mind something with a little more support. Obviously, I kept holding it a bit too far to the right, almost towards my armpit. I got to work on stance. I, need, I think I was trying to shoot it a little bit like an AR. I need to square off more. Well, you have to square off for both, but, you know, I need to, I need to correct my stance. Somebody mentioned time to start taking some classes. Yeah, I, I agree 110%, dude. It's time for me to get out there and start taking a, a class or two. Because that's where they drive home all the fundamentals and remind you of stuff you forgot and... You slowly build that skill set from there. So I hear you on that. I need to get some proper pants and shorts, man. When you're fat, you wear everything under your gut. And you, you put a pair of shorts or, or, or jeans on or whatever. And like fresh out of the dryer, they'll, they'll feel like they fit fine. And you have a belt. But then they'll start to loosen up after like an hour. And they're sagging down. And, like, and that's what I was dealing with. My holster is way too fucking low. I'm not oblivious to that. I just need to buy some new clothes, honestly. And... Dropping a few pounds wouldn't hurt. So we'll definitely want to look into that. A good pair of tactical pants that are good for hot weather for Florida. Um, Cicado was the king of the day. I just, I just thoroughly enjoyed shooting it. I figured it out, how to hold it. No riding slides. In fact, I think I've been improperly shooting my Glock all this time, trying to maintain slide like going a bit too high but you know, having that light to rest on is a nice little like a, a thumb rest got a little carbon on there but it's not, no big deal we'll clean that off uh, it just it's a fantastic gun I just can't say enough ooh look at all the carbon on that fucker I need to buy a, a product that's good at uh, removing carbon. I know you can use erasers and stuff like that, but um, they probably sell something that's made to remove carbon. I'm guessing a little bit of a ammonia-free 
cleaner won't do a hell of a lot, but let's see. It gets a good portion of it off. Yeah, not bad. How about the light? I'm gonna have to hit you with an eraser and some alcohol. Well, this is taking a decent amount off. What's that trick everyone says to use? A little chapstick when you go shooting? On your uh, lens? That way it comes right off? Yeah, not bad. So that was cool. The Ruger, he did great. I mean, I didn't shoot it much, but it's a 22. Shot great. Felt really solid. I think it's a well made gun. I don't want to keep putting it back in the plastic. But, uh. Gotta have the mag in there if you want to dry fire. So, overall, stoked with every gun there. Um, I should have a 507CX2 green dot showing up today later. Which I originally bought to put on the Ruger, but honestly, the more I think about, I took that big giant mailbox off of that uh, Beretta. Everyone was right. It's just there's no feasible way to really run that properly. I might put the 507 on here with its pick that it should come with. Uh, maybe. We'll see. And I'm not sure yet, honestly. I need to figure out a way to mitigate some of this heat. I mean, it was getting pretty hot. A couple times you saw me do this, I was like, yeah, that's pretty hot. I mean, I guess I could wear a glove. That's a temporary solution to the problem. I know I could get the Zukov with a, they sell a bottom rail and a top piece that's supposed to mitigate some heat. I just, you know, I'm enjoying the ODG vibe, to be honest. Otherwise, I would have just bought a black one, so we'll see. I don't want to jump into it right away. I just want it to be functional and somewhat comfortable to shoot. The heat was a bit much. After some rapid fire. More than a, than my ARs ever got. So we'll have to figure out a solution for that. Um, the stock, yeah, no, it's not great. There isn't much padding to be had. Maybe they sell a bigger pad for it. Um, or we just upgrade the stock in the handguard and say fuck it and maybe send it off to get a little ODG Cerakote. I can rattle can it, but in the Florida humidity, that rattle can, even once it's fully cured, that shit, in the summer heat, that shit gets sticky, and it's just not a, a fun experience. But, it was a good day. Radiant, love this dude. And we'll just move on forward, alright? I hear all the comments, I hear you. I'm not, uh, I'm open to criticism, believe me. That's one of the reasons I have this channel, to elicit good and bad and uh, try to learn from it and apply it and go, go forward so that's about it it's a short and sweet enjoyed it thanks for checking it out and we'll get on back as soon as humanly possible and do it again having learned some lessons along the way till next time your boy jake merica have a great week everybody